Good morning, everyone, with my happy little glitch face there. It is sun up, and that means we can uh, travel to the mines in relative safety. Wait, what's that sneaking through the landscape? Okay, it's just it's just the, a, a snaking trail. It is not the precursor, or at least I'd hope not, to tentacles pillaging this planet. That would suck. I've just set up a new kind of base and tentacles show up and eat my my new world. I uh, wouldn't put it past them though. Right, let's have a look at my inventory. I want some ropes, as many as I can make. There we are, that's good. I've pretty much got everything else I need. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good for everything else. I'm not going to need to make another camp. Oh. Oh, uh, you know what? Today, for today, we'll be a jester. There you go. Uh, oh, that's right. I haven't actually checked this out. Uh, matter manipulator upgrades. To upgrade... Select an upgrade. Oh, select an upgrade, right. Expansion slot. Uh, okay. Enable the collection of liquids using the excavation mode. I need three matter manipulator modules. Optics. Increase the effective manipulator range by two tiles. I need six for that. Power generator. Increase matter deconstruction rate by 100%. Need 8 for that. And matter proc unit. Increase area of effect to 3x3 three three tiles instead of 2x2. Two two. That requires 12. Yeah, that's expensive, but uh, probably quite useful. Alright. Ooh. Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. My bad. Where are you? Come back. I wish to test out my bow. Pew. Okay. That was a terrible shot. That was also a terrible shot. Can I get it just over this lip? Aha! I can indeed. I shall slay you from afar. And... If you can time it so that it's uh, just as the bow itself flashes, you'll have a critical. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh my lord, that was so cool. That was genuinely so amazingly cool. Please don't come in my house. Okay, fine. Come in my house then. Uh, where's the other one? Uh, the other one's hopped off. Fair enough. I am genuinely pleased with myself for pulling off that shot. I love the way that the glitch closes his eyes as well. It's like... <sighs> but it does seem to be rather awkward to aim this down at all. This is a high arcing shot no matter what you do. Okay. Bear that in mind, it's not really suitable for slaying of bosses. Nope. I want meat. It said it would give me meat. It's not yet giving me any meat. This bow has lied to me. Why, bow? We were such good friends. And then you lied. <sighs> can't trust anything you can't trust a bow. Oop. That is my alarm. I thought there was music in this. I was like, what on earth is whistling that to? No, that is an alarm. Alright, well, on our way. I really should consider setting up a farm, though, soon. Oh, hello. Hey, stranger. If you're looking for cool frags, oh, it, it's it's still you. I, I was wondering. Oh. Oh. Crying. I'm going to cry too. My eyes are leaking. You can't see it in the rain though. It's the best time to cry. That was actually quite sad. And that's why you don't pillage graves, everyone. It's because someone put that person in that grave. And, I mean, you know, they might have done it literally, as in they killed them as well. But, odds are they didn't. And they, were, they, they mourn. They, they visit the grave regularly. And you're there, taking all of the loot. I cry for you. I cry for your souls. Corrupt and, and dead they may be. Uh, I don't really care. Oh, actually, you know what? This is sand. Glass. Now, sand, as in many games uh, of this type, does um, shift. Oh, I don't want to take... Ah, oh, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's get rid of all of this. There we go. All the sand, all gone. I would like to put that campfire back, though. Let's pop that down there. Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. Campfire, right about there. 
Is there anything I can make? No. Okay, fair enough. Off we go. I could perhaps grab a couple of these crates if I really wanted to. I do like that though, the windows into the into the um into the cavern. That's actually pretty cool. Oh. Ooh. Okay, okay, quickly. Fire! Nope. Ha-ha! <laughs> Only hit you with one of them, though. A bit less awesome. Nope. This is so cheesy. This is so cheesy. There is a little part of me that feels bad. A tiny little bit. The rest of me is like, oh, thank goodness we're not going to have to go down there and fight that thing. That is death down there. Death and pain and embarrassment and woe and all sorts of other things that no one actually wants to experience. I wonder if these things are the big one's children. In which case, I feel a little bit worse for killing them. See if I can hit the giant one. I think I have. Nope. And critical. No. And critical. Yes. Critical again. No. I only do a tiny bit more damage when I get a critical. Let's wait for my stamina to regenerate. You know what, though? Pew. That sucked. What did I hit up there? I hit something. Yes, I did. Okay, fair enough. Then that, that roof. This cavern is not nearly as cavernous as I thought. This is so cheesy. I, you're right to be angry with me. You're this giant, majestic beast, and I'm just here cheesing you. Uh, no. And uh, no again. And once more, no. Ah, oh, I missed. I was looking at my bow to see if I could get critical. I do feel for you. Honestly, I do. I sympathize with your predicament. You've got these gigantic claws and this gaping maw and an evil stare and... I'm not really allowing you to to bring these to bear in this battle. It, it, you've trained your whole life. You've eaten all sorts of adventures that came before me to get that big. And here I am, slaying you with a bow. I'm shooting you with a stick with string attached and another stick with a point on it. it it's, it's not how you thought your life was going to go. I, I, I am sorry. Let's try and smack you. About there and about here. Oh, it's still alive. There we go. And a claw. Ah. Some days, you just wish you hadn't bothered getting up. Oh, I missed. I am just... I'm. If you think I'm going to jump down in the, the last moment to do, uh, fight this thing hand to hand, well, you'd probably be right. Nope. Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha-ha! Come on. I need more stamina. Thank you. Aha! Okay, now the giant uh, claws a lot is gone, I don't mind running around here with my sword out. No, that is not a euphemism. Uh, there, and there. Okay! I bet there's loads of good stuff in here. Core fragments. Ah, I suspected as much. Pixels. I love that the currency is called pixels. Grab those core fragments. Wow, a lot of flares. Okay. And more core fragments. We're actually getting fairly good there. How many core fragments have we got in total? It doesn't tell me exactly. Uh, did I keep the core fragments on me? Got 14 so far. We only need a few more. I like these torches. Let me grab one or two. One. And two. Thank you. I do like those. I will add an extra torch way up top, though, as I did on the other side. Okay, I'm done here. Thank you. Back to my torch to see. Oh, scallywags. Now, if I recall, you can actually spit. Yep. Ah, damn it. It wasn't fast enough to get away. Ooh, I've got something interesting there. Hello. And there we go. Nice and easy. Torch there. Collect all the goodies. And by all the goodies, I really do mean all of them. And there's more goodies over there, it seems. Hello? Hmm. There are actually fish down there. How marvellous. Please, no. 
Nope. Double no. Ouch. Keep again, I can't double jump. So used to platformer games where you can. Can't remember if uh, Starbound ever had a double jump. Alright, uh, we want lots of torches. Not quite that many. I'll settle for 40. And a swig of tea. No! Must I kill all of your people? You're forcing me to kill you. I don't like it. Why can't you just leave me alone? Some creatures just, they, they just, they live to die. Oh, that, that. Really? I'm not being allowed to collect all of the goodies. Okay. Looks like the goodie trail has ended. This is kind of good. Because that means I can go back. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. There's still more stuff. Okay. I'm going to go back and I'm going to start exploring... Back, ooh, what's this? Upgrade module. These modules can be used to upgrade ships and other useful equipment. <gasps> yes, please. Another matter manipulator upgrade modules. And another one at this point. We could collect water if we wanted to. Um, and I think that would actually be kind of cool. Yeah, sure. It did say that I needed to get oil or something. Oh, okay. It's opened up a new slot. Um, for three, I can enable paint mode for painting tiles in a variety of colors. Oh. Tempting. Very tempting, actually. I think I'm going to scarf down some food, though, before we carry on. Will these ever perish? 28 hours. I think we're good for a while, then. Um, two hours on that. Well, we don't need to worry about it. Uh, let's go and see what's down there. Many, many fish. That's awesome. I wonder if you can uh, interact with them, like if you can actually fish them. I think we might actually be nearing all of the core fragments we need. <gasps> Necrolix Cyclone Pump. Machine Pistol. DPS 6.7, which is just a little bit slower than my broken sword. Rate of fire 7.3. Energy per shot 2.9. I accept. I accept so hard. What's this? Throwable block. A block you can throw. Uh. Okay, I guess. Strange, but all right. Use the core fragments to activate the gate. So I have now reached that point. I'll grab some more core fragments, though. Also, obviously... There we go. 0 0.3 two-handed. I was wonder what that means, 0 0.3 one-handed one. This is perhaps the level of the item, but... That, my friends, is an item that I can use whilst I've got... Oh, that's a satisfying pew pew sound. It also damages the uh, background. Oh, that's interesting. But that is very satisfying, because now I can move around with my uh, torch out. What is this? Is this uh, an explorer's lantern? Uh, no, it's an oil lantern, but I'm going to take it anyway. It's now my oil lantern. I will replace it with some torches. Oh, I'm liking it down here. These are the wooden supports, I take it. Yeah, actually, I, I quite like it down here. Pew pew! I need to get better aim, it appears, because I cannot hit crockery with a dam. Ooh. A tech card. A blank tech card. With enough of these, I can develop enhanced techs. Wow. We've now got three matter manipulator modules. So we could actually afford to unlock the painting. I'm not sure I'm going to go for that straight away. Ooh, there's a chasm down there. Bless you, carrot. Oh, I think that's um, it's something I was reading about. It's um, archaeology. You can actually like dust fossils and, and and gently expose them, and then then actually get um, proper skeletons and things from it. Or you can dig it, and then you'll just get bone fragments, which don't build into anything. But I think you can even, like, recreate the entire skeletons of, of uh, creatures that way. It would be pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, 
Alright, well, we're going to be carrying on this way. I mean, it's technically in the direction we're going to be going in anyway. Bit of a spread on these bullets. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, I've got to be honest. But it fires fairly quickly, so that is that. And I can use it without, while I've got my torch out, which is just amazing. That is genuinely so good. Okay. No, no. Activate that again, please. There we are. Hunting spears, okay. Some more ranged weapons. Where were you before? If only I'd found all of this stuff first, I wouldn't have had to have... Uh, well, then again, I wouldn't have set up my base. Which I'm glad to have. Ooh, a pickaxe. This tool won't last long, but it is able to dig pretty fast. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool, then. I'll keep that out. Um, you know what? I would actually... While I'm swinging on a rope... I think it would be kind of glorious to be shooting bad guys. There we are. What about you? Some more wall. Okay. Uh, that will go up that way very well. Just slash that open. Another tech card. Oh, did I not take it off? There we go. There we are. I may have left something behind. I've got a funny feeling that I have. Um, I don't like that funny feeling. Okay, that's a lot of nothing down there, but okay. Um, I'm going to avoid digging anything that's immediately adjacent to the sand. I will show you why. Because once you update the sand in any way, it realizes it's sand and it should be falling down. Okay, there's a big old nope there. Uh, okay. Right click to throw my rope. Uh, annoying. Okay. That sucked. There we are. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm so used to using the torch now with my rope. That I was just switching to my torch to use it while I was ascending. I was like, no, no, that is a stupid thing to do, Avak. Why? Why have you done this? Stupid Avak is stupid. Oh, damn it. It looks like it's going to be hard for me to dig my way out here. It's going to take a long time. Grassy rocks. I'm not sure if you ever get any kind of different type of rock from digging rock, unfortunately. You know what? Let me uh, grab my pickaxe. That'll make this a lot easier, won't it? Yes, yes it will. There we go. But my pickaxe has a durability, which is not as great. But there we go. Let's continue up. Oh, I've learned to craft a snowball. Oh, we're in it, some sort of snowy biome. Excellent. If I'd realized there was a snowy biome on this plant, I may have held out to build my base in over here. Bless you, Midna. Oh, okay, we've uncovered a new area here. Where are we going right now? Alright. Nothing much over there, fair enough. We do, however, have some vines. So let's dig those up. Now, I'm wondering how close I am to the surface, because I can hear birds, so let's do that. Haha! -ha! We're very close to the surface then. As I was mentioning earlier, you can do that to create light by basically exposing the outside of the cave. Um, looks like we're still going to have some trouble getting up to the top, though. We can't be that far away. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like this cave is just going to lead us there, so... Looks like it's back to the pickaxe for us. Now, I'm not sure if... Okay, it looks like snow does not work the same way the sand does. Thank goodness, because that would have been unfortunate for us. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and make a little platform. And another little platform there. Let's just try and dig our way up. A couple of jumps for now. It's a bit awkward, but we'll get up there pretty quickly. Then we can probably dig our way out. I'm hoping. Oh, this pickaxe is all but broken. Let's hope that we get out fairly soon. This is where I discovered that I'm actually at the, the foot of some gigantic mountain. 
I'm digging towards the peak rather than towards the side. Honestly, at this rate, probably would have been faster if I turned back. Uh, okay. We'll continue to dig. Though it's going to be a lot slower going now that we've lost our pickaxe, which is unfortunate. I wonder how much that would cost to uh, make one of those. I can't really quite get a good bead on the direction of the rain from where I am right now. Damn, I wish I had more upgrade modules. I could have... Uh... Though, that being said, I'd need about four times as many upgrade modules as I've got right now in order to upgrade the area of effect of my matter manipulator. Though, was it eight that I needed to upgrade its power? Yeah, so we're actually not that far off it in terms of the uh, dig speed. Maybe one of the first things I do. Let's go for the dig speed. I, I am really getting the impression that I am actually digging towards the middle of the mountain rather than away from it. Damn it. There is not any indication of the correct direction here. Ugh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna abandon this plan. It's just dumb. Is there any any other way up? No. Okay, we're going back because I don't fancy spending an age digging up into the middle of a mountain. And you know that's what I'm doing. Deep down, we all know. Damn it! No. Ouch! Ten damage is no joke. Leave me alone. Right, off we go. Back this way. At least we can very quickly ascend. Though it's snowy there as well, so this might be a very large biome above us. But thankfully, we should be able to very quickly make our way up on the other side. And then head back to activate the gate. Sometimes adventuring isn't nearly as adventurous as, as everyone makes out. Sometimes it's just wandering back and forth through a cavern or trying to dig your way out of a mountain. Right, at least we're close to the top here, though. And, of course, it's night time because being able to see where I'm going is vastly overrated. Uh, let's see if I can't get up there. Yoosh! Yes, I can. Fantastic. Rope is awesome. Ah, uh, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it up there, though. Very glad that I did. Let's keep this out so I can see... Ooh. No? What? I don't even. Why did that just suddenly die? Nope. I'm about to run out of energy. I may energy recover. Wow, you can jump pretty far. Love these trees. Damn it, those ghosts. They're only vulnerable for such a short time that I need to use something that's a little bit more damaging. And of course, it's a ghost. It can go through walls. Because cheating. There we go. Alright. Onwards we go. Possibly to collect more foods. There. Yep, more foods. Fantastic. Our farm is going to be great once we actually start it. Which is probably going to happen fairly soon. Ooh, another house. And what is this? This is... I can't quite tell. A bucket? A medieval bucket. Also, I'm collecting water. You know, just in case I want to rust myself. Hmm. Come hither. And again, please. There we go. I'll use my sword for this, because it is just much better at taking this out. Again, because I don't get much time where it's vulnerable to attack. I need to make those times count. Oh, my lord. That was potentially dangerous. Now, I can't actually shoot if my gun is blocked by something. For example, 
I'm trying to shoot right now, but I can't because where I'm looking is completely um, solid. So it's preventing me from even attempting the shot. Not sure how I feel about that feature because sometimes you just want to shoot at a wall, but or at least I do. Hello. Nope. I'm I'm not actually sure how much damage you would do. I don't really want to find out. Oh, I almost did there. Bloody hell, cat ghosts everywhere. Did you die? Sometimes cat ghosts just can't take the damage. They just nope. Nope, don't want. Ooh. Hello. You don't... Oh, okay. That is snow that can fall. Are you going to be nasty? Yes, you are. Okay, yeah. Don't want to play with you. Thank you, but no. However, I do want to go in there and check what's in that chest. Or rather, a uh, small wooden crate. I like this small wooden crate. We're going to take this one with us. I like this hat, too. Have to be honest, I really do like the the uh, grassy effect. This this is a very primitive hut, but well, primitive is the wrong word. It's a simple hut. It's a simple hut in a snowy biome, made for necessity, not for aesthetics. And I can I can appreciate that as much as I love aesthetics and I like making things look good. I appreciate that sometimes you just need something that works. And in fact, it would look wrong if you'd built anything else. Let's grab these. Also, you. What's this on the floor there? Probably coal, but this stuff is really hard to dig through, so I'd rather not try. What do we got up top, though? Yeah, no. Goodbye. I refuse. Choose life, in fact. Ah, pickaxe. I wasted you trying to dig my way out of a mountain. I am certain that I was digging towards this point. From, like, deep, deep underground. I was being an idiot. Hello? No? No. Thanks, but no. You can stay down there and hopefully die. Yep. Tis your fate, I'm afraid. I will pop a little lamp in there if we can. Just so that if I end up in that space again in the future, I'll be able to see my way out. Or at least have a good idea about it. What have we got in here? Um, got a dropper there that I don't want to play with. But over here, we should be fine. There we are. A little bit of a, an avalanche there. And we are good. Okay. No! Need to kill you quickly. Ah, uh, We got some meat as well. Sorry, little critters that also died. That is going to hurt. There wasn't much I could do about it. Can I get up there? No. I'm just trying to take you out before you become a problem for me. How about no? Thank you. Now we want to try and get up there using my grappling hook. I can now make a snow cone and a medium snowball. Really? How does this one make a medium snowball? Apparently I can't make it here. I'll have to look this up another time. Very well. How much further? Ooh, carrots? Carrots! I can now make carrot juice and carrot bread. But all I really want to make is carrot cake. And this is... Cocoa pod. Fantastic. Take some of that. Uh, what I would like to do now is definitely eat something. Uh, grab you, and you, and some baked potatoes. And then some popcorn again. Just to top us up. Ah, oh, ghosts. Don't actually do that much damage with that particular attack. And there's no chance of me following up with a combo attack here because it becomes invulnerable straight after the initial hit. Some little critters down there. Now, you can actually capture animals. You more or less stick them in a sci-fi Pokeball. And then you can let them up once you've captured one like that. Though generally, I think they have to be low health before you can try. But once you've captured them, they become tame. When I'll be able to get 
the means to capture and tame my foes, I have no idea, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay, no. Really? That was a bit cheeky game, I'll be honest with you. Uh, ghosts everywhere. Come on then, if you're gonna fight me, you can both fight me. There we are. This makes it a little bit more efficient for my time. Ooh, phase matter. I wonder if that is something where I would like to think it is. This planet is uh, turning out to be a little bit larger than I was expecting, I'll be honest. I was expecting to have uh, gone all the way around by now. Hello. One of the uh, passive mobs. Mm. You know what? Fine. I'll make my way up. Then out. Then up again. There we go. Nice and easy. You can't hear my stomach rumbling. How embarrassing. Damn it. Really? Just that tiny bit? Uh, fine. I'll use a rope to get up there. I really should have collected more uh, fiber, though. Before I used up that rope, considering how low on ropes I am getting. Ooh. Hello? Evil? No. Very well. Interesting how I'm assuming that it's evil because it wants to attack me. Thereby assuming that I am good. I think that's a quality that most people share. I'm not the bad guy, I'm a good guy. No. I just want to get to that that beacon. I've got all my core fragments, that's all I want. Oh, I don't mind the face matter though, I'll accept that as a substitute. Uh... Ha ha! Fantastic! Yes! Okay, so we have finally reached our destination. But looking at the time, I'm afraid we're going to have to find out what's on the other side of this portal in the next episode. We have all the core fragments. All that remains is to activate the gate. Let's hope that there's something nice on the other side and not some sort of terrible monstrosity. Also, we've managed to circumnavigate the globe. And we've picked up some new toys. I'm very happy with this new toy, actually. That one is is especially awesome. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, take care, everyone.